Yo, 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 this is Lil' RG with another video right here. This is, um, my teenage Bound for Glory 2011 review. Um, tonight's pay-per-view event, it was pretty good. Um, I had a couple of problems with it. Um, first problem I had with it was not, um, was, uh, not letting ink ink shine, you know. Mexican America, I understand, you know, they're just coming in, they need a push or whatever, but, um, you know, nobody really likes them, I mean, they get no reaction at all from the crowd, I mean, the crowd doesn't feel them, I think even if they turn face, I, I still don't, I still wouldn't believe the crowd would feel them, I mean, they're kind of like boring, like, I mean, Ink Ink, you know, they have personality to them, I mean, don't get me wrong, Mexican America, Mexican America has a little bit of a personality in them, I mean, but, you know, from Anarchy cutting god-awful promos and Hernandez looking like a lackey instead of, um, you know, taking control of the group. I mean, and Anarchy has god-awful ring abilities. I mean, mexican America's not that excited to me. And I was looking forward to Ink Ink winning the tag titles tonight. However, they didn't. So, you know, I can't, you know whine whine about that but you know I, I was kind of disappointed um uh another th another disappointment i get to that later on but um yeah it's one of the things i was kind of angry about on the pay-per-view event all right uh also aries defeats brian kendrick like i pretty much predicted i mean it would have been stupid to take the title from brian kendrick only to give it back to Brian Kendrick a month later. I mean, that really would that really would have been stupid. Um, Jerry Lynn and RVD, RVD beats Jerry Lynn one more time. I mean, that would that would no shocker. I mean, really, as soon as they announced this this match, I already knew Rob Van Dam was going to beat Jerry Lynn again. So, I mean, it it wasn't really a shocker there. Crimson defeats Samoa Joe and Matt Morgan, and the match was okay. And I, I'm not just saying that because I'm a big Crimson fan. Holding it down for the 5150 Crimson. But, um, I mean, the match is okay. But the, the match, I got to admit, the, the ending was got off okay. Matt Morgan was in the corner. And Crimson and Joe was right in the middle of the ring. Matt Morgan could have broke the pin if he wanted to. I mean, I, I really didn't get the ending of that match. But I guess we never will. <laughs> We never get the end of that. I mean, it, it, the match ended kind of, you know, in a fluke. I mean, it was god awful. The, the end was just god awful. Mr. Anderson defeats Bullet Ray about time. You know, Mr. Anderson hasn't been able to catch a break. Like I said in my predictions, um, Mr. Anderson finally catches a break tonight. Uh, he beats Bullet Ray, and, you know, about time. Uh, Velvet Sky defeats Winter, Madison Rain, and Mickey James in a god awful match. Um, the match, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, the match, it, it wasn't that good to me, but, um, Velvet got a title ring going on, so I get I guess that's gonna be good. Um, but as for what's next, I, we, I know that, um, I pretty much think, you know, she's going to face Madison Rain, probably, because, uh, you know, Madison Rain, she sucks up to Karen, and since she sucks up to Karen, Karen's going to automatically put her um, as number one contender. I can I can see that, or I can see something else, but, you know, I, I can see that even more happening next with Velvet. And as for Winter and Angelina Love, I do believe those two have a split soon. Um, so just be forward to look, well, just look forward into that. Um, I do believe those two are going to have a, a split soon tonight, which is phase one. Um, they're supposed to they're having an advertisement for a, t a knockouts title match and having went to dump a title and go on to another title just doesn't make any sense. So I do believe they'll, you know, split from each other and have a feud next, so. I think that's going to be the future. However, Velvet Sky wins the match, and it's kind of got awful, but 
she got a Cinderella story. Um, AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels in a good match. AJ Styles beats Christopher Daniels like I pretty much predicted. Um, nothing, you know, nothing. This match was, this match is pretty good. I mean, I mean, it was kind of, it was better than Bully Ray and Mr. Anderson match. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a pretty good match. You know, AJ, he always puts on his best. Even though he kind of botched that Destination X. But, you know, AJ put on his best. And, you know, Christopher Daniels did too. Give him his props. Obviously, I'm not a Christopher Daniels, a big Christopher Daniels fan. Matter of fact, I'm not a fan of his at all. But, um, you know, big props to him and, you know, in this match. Um, we had a little segment with uh, Jeff Hardy. Oh, matter of fact, uh, let me go back to the AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels match. After the match, I mean, Christopher Daniels sucker punches AJ Styles and, you know, kind of beats him up on the ramp. So, obviously, this feud is far, far, far from over. I think, honestly, they just need to drop it and leave this one alone. Because we done seen AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels at it, like, so many times already. It doesn't even make any sense. I mean, the last time they had a big feud was, like, maybe two years ago in 2009. Then, you know, I don't want to see it anymore. I mean, either you can have them be friends or have them be enemies. I mean, it was like Edge and Christian, which uh, it would have happened again. Edge and Christian would have fought again, had another feud again, had Edge hadn't retired. So that would have happened again. And this, this right here is, is starting to be the edge and the Christian of TNA. I mean, you have them be best buddies. You have them be tag team partners. You have all, both of them in fortune. Um, and then you you just, uh, for some strange reason, you you want them to kiss and make up, fight, kiss and make up again, then fight and kiss and make up again. I mean, people are getting tired of seeing this. So... I mean, they have this, have them kiss and make up one last time and let it stay that way. Okay. Then we have a, another segment where uh, Jeff Jarrett, he comes out and calls uh, Jeff Je uh, Jeff Hardy out. My bad. Um, he basically says that he brought Jeff Hardy into TNA. He said he's going to take T Jeff Hardy out of TNA tonight. Well, they had a little brawl and... Uh, I'll, I'll say Jeff Hardy got a little the best of Jeff Jarrett there. Um, this would be a pretty good, pretty good feud to see, and, uh, a pretty good match to see at Turning Point. You know, obviously Jeff Jarrett being the first one to put Jeff Hardy over since you know coming back, and you know that's kind of good. And the founder to put over Jeff Hardy, a triple star like Jeff Hardy over, so you know that's that's gonna be good. All right, Sting defeated Hulk Hogan in a in a in a decent match. You know, it was pretty decent than what I, what I thought it was. Heck, it was pretty decent than what we all thought. And um, after the match, her Hulk Hogan turned face after you know Immortal beat Sting down mercifully, and um, they 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 beat him down, man. They beat Sting down, and then. Hulk Hogan rips his shirt off and, you know, starts beating the mortal up. Um, Abyss is backstage watching. Um, you know, I kind of seen that one coming. I mean, although I didn't really, you know, put that in my predictions, but um, I pretty much figured that one off, off my mind that either Hulk Hogan was going to turn face at Bound for Glory or sometime soon afterwards, but he did it tonight. And you know it's kind of funny. <laughs> Same pay per view. Vinny turned heel. Then he turned faces. He turned face on the, a year later. Um, the biggest disappointment of the night. Bobby Roode and Kurt Angle. This is a. This was. This was. It was a good match, but Kurt Angle defeats Robert Roode. I mean, the ending was kind of cheap. Uh, I didn't like it. This just. This made my night. You know, turn completely upside down. I was, I was hurt by this. I know Bobby Roode was kind of hurt by this. I know all Bobby Roode's fans out there was kind of hurt by this. I was I was hurt by this. Um, Bobby Roode, you know, 
is rooting on from the win the title. I mean, they actually had to set up like he he was actually gonna win the title. But um knowing TNA, he'll probably get a rematch or something. I hope he does get a rematch. But um, you know, I want it on impact, you know, because I wanna see it live well not live, but I wanna see it on T V. I mean, since the Teenage World Championship has been changing hands a whole lot lately on, you know, TV. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have one more title match on TV. I mean, I mean they, they matches do be, like, well, not long. I give it, like, 10, maybe 10 to 15 minutes title matches to be having on Impact. Um, But, you know, I also would prefer that on... Uh, on T on on the next pay per view of it turning point, but um, let's see what plays out on. Well, I would say Monday night because they do tape impact on Monday night, Monday nights and Tuesday nights, sometimes Wednesday nights, but um, let's see what just plays out next. Um, you know, will uh Karen make Velvet's life of living hell? Will how would uh, Bobby Roode really react to uh, the loss to Kurt Angle? How would Bischoff react to uh, her Hulk Hogan turning his back on Immortal? Um, they don't. We all have to wait and see together. And um, that's that's it right there. Um, it was kind of a disappointing night for me, but um, um, other than that, you know, Bob Gore, it was. It was a good pay per view event. Um, you know, disappointment. You know, at the in the show, the you know, Crimson kind of won in a, you know, that in a god awful match, and I was kind of disappointed at that. You know, Ink in Ink losing, I was kind of disappointed at that, and uh, Kurt Angle beating Robert Roode. You know, that was kind of disappointing. But you know, other than that, you know, Buff Glory is pretty good, pretty good for what it was worth. In, um, that's all I have to say. Um, this is the RJ. Till next time, see you all my RJ Maniacs.